I forgot to fix the dishwasher! <clears throat> hey, kid! Kids, please turn that down! Oh! What is that racket? We're just trying to cover up the racket coming from the kitchen. Oh, well... <laughs> hey, wait a minute! <laughs> The racket coming from the kitchen. That's not racket, Ty. It's music. Real music. Oh. That's right. Opera. Here, you might learn a thing or two. The three baritones in various concerts. Baritone. It means deep sounding, like so. I know what a baritone is, Dad. Ah, the three baritones, the greatest opera singers the world has ever known. Here, let me show you. You had to get them going. The stocky one on the left is Kenny Adipose. The husky one on the right is Monsieur Butterball. Who's the beanpole in the middle? That's Basso Profundo, the singer who inspired my dream to become a great opera star. Too bad I was seduced by my other love, water treatment. It's probably for the best. You're not exactly opera material, or even karaoke material for that matter. Oh, that profundo. He was something else. But that was before the Paris incident. The Paris incident? What happened to not getting him going? What? It sounded interesting. The Paris incident was the horrible night profundo tried to perform the area that is unspoken. A song said to be so cursed that terrible things befall anyone who utters its actual name, let alone tries to perform it. They say the grand finale is so difficult that no human has dared perform it in over 200 years. But that didn't stop Profundo from trying. <laughs> Aria that is unspoken? <laughs> More like the Aria that is uncroaken. <laughs> Profundo was so humiliated that he fled the stage, but he vowed, You'll regret laughing, you'll all regret laughing at me! Mark my words, I shall return! And Profundo was never seen again. Boring! Hey, give me that remote. Hey! Tugawari, I warn you, I was ah. intramural champion! <laughs> and in other news, the Delhi Bandit struck again last night. Authorities are still baffled by the recent string of delicatessen robberies. No cash is taken, only the finest meats and cheeses. Wait, wait! <laughs> <laughs> the master bows to no one! Hey! Who left the water running? <laughs> Police are also confused by the foul stink left at each crime scene. If anyone has any information... Grossologists! There's been a... <laughs> stinky food robbery at... The deli. We're on it. Exactly the grossest crime scene we've been to. Look closer. 
It looks like organic material mixed with gastric acid? So it's partially digested food? Could explain the smell. Spicy sausage and sauerkraut? Huh. Not much of a lead. This is a deli. They sell that stuff all the time. Yeah, but this sample is on the outside of the window. Better send it to Lab Rat. Shopkeep, a jar of your finest pickles. What's Dad doing here? Shh. Awesomeopera.org says this is where the three baritones eat when they're in town. Is that true? You bet, Mac. Well, the two of them anyway. Nobody knows what happened to the skinny one. Say, we got a special on bacon stuffed mushrooms. Do the baritones eat them? Of course. I'll take six. No, 40. 40? Like the baritones always say, the bigger you are, the better you sing. Say, Mac, you want to buy some baritones tickets for tomorrow? It's a sold out concert, but I'm Come on, just he's got his nose place. in a bucket of pickled artichokes. <laughs> <gasps> a concert by the greatest singers of all time? Name your price. I'll take four. Uh-oh. Did he say four tickets? <laughs> well, better go study for that exam tomorrow that I forgot to tell you about until just now. Yeah. <gasps> for the last time, Ty, you are going to the concert. But this monkey suit itches. Oh. Belladonna, please pass that Mac salad. Harvey, dear, your tummy isn't going to be able to handle all that rich food. Hey, if the three baritones got as big as they are from eating this stuff, it ought to help me too. <laughs> oh. oh, but I still can't figure out why this food makes me so <laughs> gassy. Because it's high in fats and acids, stuff that causes indigestion. Yeah, and eating at warp speed like that, you're swallowing more air than food. Kids, years ago, water treatment left my opera dream stranded by the side of the road. So no amount of <laughs> gastric distress is going to keep me from <laughs> picking up that dream and bringing it <laughs> home. I don't get it. This place should be packed. It's the two baritones, for Pete's sake. Guess opera isn't as cool as it used to be. Ty. Wow, that's some bassoon. Oh, that wasn't a bassoon. Oh, Petunia, all this food. I gotta go now. I told him. Didn't I tell him? <laughs> 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 I'm gonna go see if your father is all right. You kids stay here. Ladies and gentlemen, fresh from their stunning performance at the base of the Great Pyramids, the two baritones. I thought there were two of them. It can't be. It is. It's him. The Great Basso Profundo has returned. Dad's gonna be so mad he missed this. <clears throat> he smelled just like the particles from the deli. No way. <laughs> What's with the burping? You guys get into the cream soda again? I'm sending you some readings. How do they compare to the samples from the deli? The food compounds are different, but the traces of stomach acid are an exact match. Which means Profundo's the deli thief. Thank you, thank you, and for my next selection. You call that opera? Why, it's Paris all over again. <laughs> Paris? Did you say Paris? After tonight, no one will ever speak of Paris again. The great Basso Profundo is back. And he's singing a new tune! We have to stop him! Before he brings the house down! Lucky I 
wore my slime suit. It's the only way I could stop the itching. It looks like great minds think alike. Come on! I have created a new form of opera, and with it, I shall have my... Come on, he's getting away! <laughs> what are you doing? If we hurry, we can catch him! Ty, this place is wrecked! <gasps> Where's Mom and Dad? Mom! Dad? <sighs> oh, Abby! Oh. Ty! Oh, that's better! Oh my gosh, are you guys okay? <gasps> I couldn't breathe under there! Well, no wonder, with all that stuff on top of you. No! Your father's burps! P.U. Dad, are you okay? No. What's wrong? I can't believe I missed Profundo's return! Of all the luck! Why did I have to get diarrhea? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Look at how skinny he was. If that's the same Profundo, he sure let himself go. Hey, remember what Dad said at the deli? The bigger you are, the better you sing? Well, according to opera singing for imbeciles, big opera singers do sound better. They have more fatty tissue around their vocal cords. Bigger lungs and chest cavity help too, to move more air and project their voices. That's a myth. Some of the best opera singers are regular sized. But maybe Profundo believed it. Maybe he thought if he bulked up like the other baritones, his voice would get better. Hmm, that sample you sent me tests positive for excess stomach acids. It must be bubbling up into Profundo's esophagus. Acid reflux. And the food he's gorging on only makes it worse. That would help explain his superpowered burps. Yeah, and his grumpy disposition. Oh, I've got it. I've been working on a powerful antacid to help the director with his new fad diet. High protein, low carbs? Worse, all taco. <sighs> all you gotta do is find Profundo and get this into him. It'll shut off the gas works and snuff out that fire in his belly. Profundo's been in hiding for eight years. How do you find someone who doesn't want to be found? I don't know, but we have to think of something before Profundo performs again. <laughs> Honey, how's your anchovy paste with liver pate? Not bad. But I can't understand why my belly keeps acting up like this. Maybe because deli food is meant for side dishes, not four course meals, dear. Oh, that's better. Harvey, I have had enough of this oily, smelly food. And so have you. But Petunia, honey cakes, how do you expect me to become a great opera singer? Oh, I don't know. How about some singing lessons? Petunia, no, wait, please! That's it. We take away Profundo's fuel supply. And then when he's desperate, he'll come looking for that... My precious deli food. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why is this? happening to me? Whoa. First your mother, now every deli in the city? My dream is slipping away. <laughs> Grossologists! Everything is in place for operation. <laughs> deli belly? <laughs> Who wrote this? <laughs> anyway, every deli in the city has been locked up tight and emptied. The food is piled at the band shell to lure profundo. A greasy, gassy, smelly deli food. <laughs> Can someone open a window? Um, Dad, listen, we gotta... Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, then. Uh, bye, Dad. <laughs> Line and sinker. Now let's blast some antacid in his gullet. <laughs> On three. One. Delicious. Two. Three! I thought I smelled deli! <laughs> Dad? Oh, summer sausage! 
Huh? Away from my foodstuffs, you scrawny scavenger! You... <gasps> You're Basso Profundo! The greatest opera singer the world has ever known! I don't believe this! I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> You're too kind. Now drop that sausage before I burp you into oblivion! I can't get a clear shot without hitting Dad. Oh, no! If Profundo burps at Dad after all that food, it's... Curtains! Mr. Profundo, you don't understand. My dream has always been to become a great opera star like you. You've got as much chance of becoming a great opera star as that summer sausage there. Speaking of which... Let go my summer sausage! Hey, just a minute. There's no need to be rude. Mm, victory sausage. So much better than regular sausage. Dad, are you okay? I've heard of people being blown away by their heroes, but that was ridiculous. Well, guess you'll be heading home now. Send Mom our regards. Are you kidding? Opera genius or not, that fella owes somebody an apology. And by somebody, I mean me. Dad, let it go. Forgive and forget. Be the bigger man. Okay, don't actually be bigger than him. That would be unhealthy. But, Dad! Oh, boy. Come on! Excuse me, Mr. Profundo. I don't think that's the way you should be treating your fans. <laughs> fans? Basso Profundo does not need fans. Especially ones like you, you wannabe warbler. Hey, hmm. nobody calls my dad a warbler. <laughs> You stuffed turkey! Nobody burps at my boy like that! You hear me? Nobody! No? What are you going to do about it? Vulture! Unhand that onion quiche! How are we gonna get Lab Rat's antacid into Profundo with Dad watching? Honestly, I have no idea. Beginner's luck. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Profundo, let's settle this like men. I challenge you to a burping contest, a musical burping contest, to the tune of the area that is uns... No! I'm gonna say it! No! Don't do it! The area of doom! Got it! We have to get ready for the song's big ending. The grand finale? Yep. Good one, opera boy. Enough child's play. Let us begin. me of my greatest performance and my gastric powers! 
Come on, he's getting away. You guys did it. Uh-oh. Um, did what exactly, Dad? You made me realize you don't have to be big to be a good singer. Or a good belcher, for that matter. So you, uh, you didn't see us, um... Actually, son, I did see you. That's right. I saw you cheering for me! Sometimes all you need to succeed is someone who believes in you. Thanks, guys. <laughs> you haven't heard the last of me. I shall return for my encore. Bigger, badder, and belchier than ever! <laughs> Sorry you didn't get to be a great opera star, Dad. Are you kidding? I shared the stage with the great Basso Profundo. We performed the Area of Doom for Pete's sake. Okay, well, we burped the Area of Doom, but still, consider my dream fulfilled. Great. So does this mean no more opera around the house? No more opera around the house. Because now that I've fulfilled one dream, I have another. To be air guitar champion of the world! <laughs> I'm not sure what's worse. We've got to get Dad back on opera, fast. Wait, you missed my big finish. Oh. <laughs>